Now, many of you may or may not be familiar with the concept of chutzpah, a word very difficult, if not impossible, to accurately translate. But this next story is about a chutzpah that you will definitely never forget. Wrestler turned comedian, Lior Brooks. Hoi gewont, hier comes the chutzpah. Meet Lior Brooks, Israel's first and only international pro wrestler superstar turned stand-up comedian. Hailing from Netanya, Israel, Lior Brooks, a.k.a. the Chutzpah Lior Ben David, is making a name for himself outside the ring these days in Europe as a stand-up comedian. In 2017, Brooks faced a major life decision. After nearly dying during a pro wrestling match in London, wrestling was no longer a career path. I had to make up a decision. It's like work a normal office job or maybe leave the, the dream that I always had to be a stand-up comedian. So I just decided to pursue it. Uh, I went to an open mic in Manchester in England and from there it just evolved to becoming a full-time stand-up comedian. All his life, Brooks dreamed of becoming a stand-up comedian, but stage fright always held him back. I have to overcome my stage fright thanks to the pro wrestling ring. So basically I put tights on, put baby oil on, performed in front of strange people just to overcome the stage fright to finally become a stand-up comedian. There's something else. And I'm like, what do you mean by that? It's like, you failed as a Jew. <laughs> To be honest, it's not really a challenge to perform in front of a sold-out crowd because when there's more people, I actually have more energy. It's more of a challenge for me to perform in front of smaller audiences. That's when I really get tensed and for some reason every small glitch the crowd can notice. But when there's a sold-out crowd, I'm just like, I feel like I'm at home. I raised a good Jewish boy and you will never donate my organs. It's against our religious beliefs. I'm like, Mom, we're atheists. What religious beliefs are you talking about? I was just like pissed off, you know? I was completely pissed off and I just told my mom, listen mom, you raised a good, honest Jewish boy. And that's why when you will die, I will sell your organs. <laughs> However, as an Israeli performing primarily in Europe, it comes with its fair share of challenges. You don't know every aspect of their culture. I mean, I'm trying my best to learn about the cultures of Europe and to build jokes around that, obviously. But because obviously I was born and raised in Israel, my sense of humor is a little bit more, I'd say, Middle Eastern. But because my father is British, so I can get the British sense of humor. But the European, they have their own sense of humor and you just need to learn about their culture and then you can understand how to make them laugh. The months of January and February 2020 were Brooks's best months, selling out shows throughout Central Europe and then COVID-19. COVID-19 hit me just like any other live entertainer. It's like. January and February 2020 were amazing months for me. I was selling out shows in Europe. I was really looking forward for my tour. And the virus came, everything changed, and uh, hopefully 2021 will, will be better than 2020 in that aspect. And uh, let's just hope that like, I'll be back touring and uh, becoming a successful comedian. That's it. With speedy vaccination campaigns, brighter days are ahead. And Brooks looks forward to when the world can laugh again. Hopefully, the human race will, will be able to go back to where it was just in February 2020. That's what I'm hoping and hopefully back on stages to perform live in front of sellout crowds in Europe.